Hallelujah, praise the Lord. It's a beautiful day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm very glad to be back to be able to take part of the, the graduation for the Bible training center. Hallelujah. Amen. To see how God is still at moving in this country. Amen. 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 This is the best time to come back for us. I, I wish there could be many more times every year. But if we choose one time, this time would be the best. The mission train, the mission conference and the Bible school graduation. So thank you, thank you so much. For, for, for doing this. And for inviting us. Actually, we are not invited, we just come anyway. Uh, <laughs> you know, family, they don't need to be invited. Amen. <laughs> I want to open the Bible to the Gospel of John, chapter, chapter uh, 30. No, John, sorry, 20. John, John, chapter 20, verse 30 and 31. Don't say, don't say, don't say, don't say, don't say. Truly, Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. Okay, Payao. Ijan Sana Ye Matado Achado Namelekana Amyado Gule, Ye Shudi Tabido do Myamau Nai Piado Mu E. Ye Shudi Krito Tihu do Payati Tado Psido Mudigu Tindo Di Yo Mia Chao Todo Yong Yue Namado Apin Atango Yamia Chao I Myalao Ye Tale Shitadi. Hallelujah. Amen. You know in the Gospel of John there are seven miracles or signs that is specifically recorded which John is talking about. You know, they were chosen by God to specifically be there so that we would learn something from reading them. Amen. Amen. So what are these signs and wonders? Well, you had the first the sign of miracle that in the in the you know when you came to Cana and make the wine. But ma uso na mai lekhna Cana mengla sam poi ma tu ya de ye ga ni sapi ye phit twa de ya. There's one miracle about feeding the feeding the multitudes. They are nya so do lu de ku Yesu Christ do ga na mai lekhna pyu pi do chwe mui chin a chang. Jesus walking on the water. Pi de ka ma Yesu ku dai ga ye po ma shao lan de a chang. Jesus healing the man at the pool of Bethesda. Pi de ka ma ye ai na ma shi de lu na ku pe pyao de a chang de tu ya de. And you know how he healed the blind man by spitting on the ground and making some clay and putting on his eyes. And there is other miracles also. Now we can learn from everything Jesus did and everything Jesus said. When we read, go through the the different people that he met in the in the in the Gospels. There were not only these seven miracles, but there were many other places that he did miracles. You know, how did he meet people? What did he say? How did they respond to him? When we go through every time he met people individually or in a group setting, 
We learn something from that. And we can use that when we minister to others. You know, can, I always say when I talk about these things, there are at least three main things that we can find from this. That Jesus had the power. Amen. Amen. He always responded to faith. And he was always willing to meet the needs of people. Now there are probably other things we learn. But, but these three things are enough for us to go and proclaim the gospel of the kingdom. And to know that when we preach the gospel, these things is always evident that he will do things when we preach. John said that these signs and miracles was given that was specifically to create faith in us so that we would have life. They are written so that we may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, and that we may have life. Hallelujah. Amen. He, when we read, it creates life. It When we have faith, we reach out and we do. That's simple, isn't it? We may not know what's going to take place. But we know that around the Lord Jesus, there was this presence that always touched people. He lives in you and he lives in me. We, we do what he did. We pray for people. We share our testimony. And the rest is up to God. One, one instance in the gospel of Luke that touched me so many, so many years now. Is the passage when this woman who is a prostitute, mm. they come to Jesus in the house of a Pharisee. She comes from the back and she starts to cry and to weep. You know, the religious people, they didn't like that. But she, did, she didn't care. She, she just wept and wept and wept. She didn't say anything. She didn't call out to be saved or to speak repentance or something like that. Now she just wept. She was a tears coming out of her and the other people around didn't know what was going on. But Jesus knew. And the kingdom of God touched this lady. Now it's very interesting that especially the women, we read about the women that Jesus met. Amen. How he ministered, how he broke new ground, and he reached out and broke traditions. You know, his mind was different. The mindset of people needed to be renewed and broken. Otherwise, they could not receive the kingdom of God. It was a new season, it was a new time, and our thinking, their thinking needs to be changed. And I was in Japan some years ago. 
And I was speaking in a church. And uh, a, a, a pastor came to our meetings with a girl. She had tried to commit suicide three times, four times. She, she, had, she had a scars on the, on the arm. And the pastor brought her up and we were supposed to pray for her. You know, when we pray, we pray for a lot of people in, where, you know, where they come for prayer. And, and very often we forget what was actually done or said in that meeting. Years pass by and, and you even don't forget it. You, do, you don't remember. Well, I remember that girl because when she fell on the ground, she was also weeping, 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 weeping. And, and obviously God is doing something but we don't know what. I, I left that meeting and, and uh, never, for, actually forgot about this situation. Since four, four years or five years later I was invited to speak in another church. And then the pastor there, he came up to me and says, Do you remember this girl? Of course not, I don't remember. But, but he said, Oh, this is the girl that you prayed for, you know, five years ago or whatever it was. And, and she was like radiant, she was shining. She was speaking to me in Japanese and I don't understand Japanese. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was like jumping and she, and she was speaking to me in Japanese and I don't understand Japanese. Oh, this girl had been totally delivered that day. She had gone to go to Bible school in Hokkaido, which is the northern part of Japan. Studied the word of God for three years. And came back to be a worker in the church. And her and grandmother and her uncle also had received the Lord. You know, like this woman in the Luke chapter 7 we talked about. The kingdom of God is here, was there. Jesus is willing. He responds to faith. And His power is always available. You know, it wasn't like following the, the, you know, the, the law of God and to do everything that God required. There was the old, the old Testament, the old law. There was needed to be new thinking, a renewing of our mind. And the grace of God would do this for us. That's why it's so exciting to, to come to Bible schools, to start Bible schools, to see over the years, when you look back, what happened in that situation. We realized long, long after that this, this thing uh, impacted a nation. Like, like FGBTC, as Todd was talking about this morning. Like you also know, you realize, you have, many of you have gone to the Bible school. The word of God 
ไอ้เนี่ยเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่
He invited them in for a meal and they were sitting down and having food together. And they, they, when he took the bread and he broke the bread, the eyes were open, the scriptures. The scripture verse was bleeding. What, what do you mean? What do we mean with that? That, that it's all about the Lord Jesus. Many clear prophecies. Many types and shadows. When our hearts open up, faith comes to us. Same thing as John chapter 20 speaks about. These signs, these miracles were written for you that you should believe that Jesus is the Son of God. That you should have life in his name. This is exactly what happened with these two disciples. They begin to burn inside. He opened their eyes. When eyes are open, that's when faith begins. But, but then he disappeared. But still he left the open eyes and the burning hearts. Hallelujah. And it is enough for us. As we read the scripture and he reveals himself in the Old Testament. When we see him, we receive faith. You know, this was the, the International Women's Day this weekend or on Friday. I wanted to read about a woman. From the book of Joshua. <coughs> How Jesus is bleeding through Joshua. Joshua It's also about his covenant with us. That his blood with us. And when we see the blood, we see the salvation. Now this is an interesting story. You know, we know Israel had walked through the wilderness for 40 years. They didn't need to walk through 40 years, but because of their disobedience, they were never ever able to enter into the promised land. But finally, after 40 years, they are standing on the brink of actually getting the promise of God fulfilled to receive the land. And uh, to do that, they sent two spies. We've read that story before. Actually, uh, Todd was speaking about Walking around Jericho this morning. And, and, I, and I was thinking, no, no, stop there. <laughs> that's, my, that's my scripture, brother. <laughs> but, but he did it good. He talks about the walking around Jericho and and they raised their voices and the wall came down. And Hallelujah. Amen. When we are in a difficult situation, 
Hallelujah. God will Amen. speak to us the way we are to do in that situation. It may Amen. look it may look foolish. But you know, yes, walking seven days mm. uh, and once every every day. They didn't say anything. But on the seventh day when they did the march, they blew the trumpet and they cried out and God answered I was in India a long time ago. <laughs> and I had this experience also. There was a mission compound. And uh, I was there for a few months to preach the gospel and to, you know, share the word of God. So, the Lord spoke to me about doing this thing. So I did. <laughs> but I should do it seven times in one day. So I started to walk. It was a pretty long walk. And, and when I came by the first time, there were some young kids there. Oh, they looked at me. And, but they didn't say much. <laughs> and the, the second time, they looked at me, they looked at each other. They looked at me, they looked at each other. By the third time, they were laughing. Every time I pass by, they laughed. And on the seventh time, they were really laughing. Now, I don't know what happened after that situation because I left that area a few months later. I don't know if there was a great power breakthrough and revival started. It doesn't matter. I don't know if we have to be obedient to what we feel, what we feel the Lord is saying to us. Amen. We don't know the consequences of what we are doing today. Amen. Someone else may harvest, then you planted. You did what the Lord told you to do. And someone else may be reaped the blessing from that That's act. the kingdom of God. Anyway, here they were watching around seven times. You know, the two men had come from the camp into the city to find out the weakness of the enemy. And he had come to the knowledge of the king in the land. The king in the land. Okay. And he sent out some of his men to catch these two spies. It says in verse 3, chapter 2, verse 3, the king of Jericho sent to Rahab saying, Bring out the men who have come to you, who have entered your house, for they have come to search out all the country. But, but she was disobedient. She was, she was disobedient to the king. But she was obedient to God. Because she went to hide those, those spies. And uh, later on she, she uh, was releasing them and they went back to their own people. 
But I, I, want to, I want to lift something here from verse 8, 9, and 10. Uh, before they lay down, she came up to them on the roof and she said to the man, Actually, why do I read? You know, read. Okay, okay. <laughs> Seven, okay. eight, and nine. <laughs> မြို့ပြင်တော့ရောက်ကြပြီးမှမြို့တကားများကိုပိတ်ကြာရီသူရှုတော့ဒီမအိတ်မီမိန်းမာဒီသူတို့ရှိရာသူအိတ်မိုး
And how do they know they look like grasshoppers? Mr. Giant, do you think I look like a grasshopper? <laughs> do you think they walked up to these giants to ask them if they were grasshoppers? Of course they didn't. Anyway, was the problem was in their mind. What they believed about themselves, they thought others believed also. And, and you, if you have that belief about yourself, you will not act, you will not step out in faith and obedience. No. But look what Rahab said. They had heard how God, you, how they came out of the Red Sea. These are, these are people in the land. These are people in Jericho. They had heard how, what God did for them when they came out of Egypt. They heard how the water stood in two walls and they walked without uh, being wet through the Red Sea. And they later, of course, they all heard about the, how they defeated the, 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 the Amorite kings. But listen to what they said. They say here, when, <laughs> we heard, when we heard that, our hearts melted and we were discouraged. Wow. That was actually what the, gen, what, what the people in the land was thinking. They were not, they were not thinking, oh, these people are like, like flies, we can stamp on them. <laughs> Ah, we, are giant. we are giants, these are nothing. <laughs> No, that's not, that's not what they thought. It says very clearly here. We, we are, when we heard about these great miracles, our hearts melted. And of course, they, they could have walked in 40 years earlier. They, I mean, but the scripture says that they said, yes, it's a good land, but the enemy is too big. I think this is something we can learn from this. And it has to do with our renewing of our mind. That we don't believe what we feel. We believe the scriptures. We renew our mind with the word of God. We look at the miracles as Jesus, as John says, so that faith can come into our heart. We look at how Jesus ministered individually to each and everyone. We learn how we can minister. It is, is it is written for our uh, for our instructions, even the old, like we see here, the, the old happenings and the, the things of, his, of Israel's history is, is for our instruction. And of course, it goes on this story about Rahab. Uh, uh, we have the end of the story here, it's really beautiful. Rahab lets down the spies. And she allows them to escape from the king. 
Verse 15 says, She let them down by a rope through the window, for her house was on the city wall. She dwelt on the wall. Get to the mountain, lest the pursuers meet you. Hide there the three days until the pursuers have returned. She helped Israel. But she also asked a favor. That save us, save me and my family. And, and uh, you, we know what, what happened that the, the spies they gave her a rope, a red rope. And then verse, verse 18 says that you bind this in the window uh, and we will see it when we come. อันนั้นเนี่ยอภัยเงี้ยเสร็จมาอีปิดุงงาตุยอกลาตัวอคายะคุชอชะตอปริญปอกไหนอีจูนี่กูฉีถายุยติ่มมีบาติ่มมองน
impossible situations. But as we look into the scripture, we open our hearts. Jesus will cut verses for us. We will see him in the scriptures. It will cause our hearts to burn our eyes open up. Our mind may be changing. We renew our mind. We don't think as the old where we think it is impossible. The enemy is too big. We can't make it. No, we renew our mind with the word of God. We see Jesus bleeding in the street. Scriptures. Our hearts are beginning to burn and we have faith in our hearts. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Of course, this is, a, this is a daily walk with the Lord. We don't want to wait. We don't want to wait 40 years for our minds to be renewed. And, and meanwhile, we may suffer like the, the people of Israel did. They, they couldn't go in because of the lack of renewing the mind and he spoke so many bad things. Hallelujah. But we don't live in that kind of times. You have problems, I have problems. In Nepal, they have problems. In Bangladesh, they have problems. Bangladesh, Malaya, India. India, Malaya. And Todd was talking about our problems in Sweden. We are happy if we see one person saved in a month uh, or in a year. <laughs> We definitely need to renew our minds all the time. When you walk a long time in that kind of situation, I mean, you see the, like the people of Israel. How many burials a day do you think they had? Around 2 million people had to perish before the new generation was able to take the land. I think, I, I estimated sometimes, I think it was 142 burials a day. ดาจองจนอะดีนตันลอกตีเลยสรแต่ยะมาเนาะเอ่อบะลอกตีเลยสรแต่ยะวันนั้นแหละวันนั้นแหละ <laughs> Oh they look at the situation. Oh my God, again. Oh my God, again. Oh that family also. Oh, this family. I mean, there, two million people had to. Let's say it's two million. I don't know exactly the number. But the, the world will form our mind and our thinking, and we need to renew it with the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh Lord, we thank you for this time of fellowship together. We thank you, Lord, for opening our eyes to see Jesus. We want to see Jesus. We want to experience his presence. We thank you for the kingdom of God that is here today. Thank you for everyone that you are using today, Lord. Thank you for all the Bible school students. For all the staff. 
all the believers, let your word sweep like a wind through our lives. We just thank you for every good thing that you are doing. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.